Hey everybody, Alex Cazora, SteelersDepot.com, back with some Pittsburgh Steelers tape breakdown and analysis. Today I want to do something maybe slightly different and just talk about a more overall coaching point and of course use the Pittsburgh Steelers to apply that. I want to talk about wide receiver Frisman Jackson and how he teaches how to run the go route, the deep ball, and how it works well and what happens when it doesn't work as coached. And as we get into the tape, if you guys could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would really appreciate that. Here is the coaching point from Pittsburgh Steelers wide receivers coach Frisman Jackson of when it works well. And his thought is on go balls, you don't want to look back early. You want to dig for 20 to 22 yards and make sure you're getting up to speed, maintaining speed, because when you look back, you slow down. And this is in week one against Tampa Bay. And Calvin Austin on his 67-yard touchdown up there to the top as you're seeing him fly by, uh, bypass the cornerback. And you're going to see him really dig here for the first 20-plus yards of this route until he gets past the right cornerback to the top here. And then he looks back for the football. So the coaching point is don't look back early. And then Jackson says, Look towards the sky. Don't look back for the ball. I'm not entirely sure if Austin, if you categorize that as looking towards the sky or back to the football, probably a little bit of both, but I think it's actually probably really well run by Calvin Austin. So there's a there's an art to the deep ball. I mean, obviously Austin's an incredibly fast guy, a four three two forty, but you need to be able to you know run fast. That's why you hear about guys that run fast on a track but don't play to that speed and vice versa. And technique actually has a lot to do with that. So for here, Austin digging, not looking back early. And then I think you can call that looking towards the sky as opposed to really truly looking back and slowing himself down. Great deep ball by Mason Rudolph. That's his best asset by far. And he puts it on the money. But because Austin digs through, again, he's going to look back. And I should have slowed this down earlier. Looks back more or less right around here. And that's over 20 yards downfield. And so that's the... Art to the deep ball. I'll play it through one more time, and then we'll talk about a more recent example of what happens when a receiver does not do this. All right, this is from the finale Thursday against Atlanta. We're going to watch new wide receiver Aaron Cruckshank just sign from Rutgers whenever Cody White, Hakeem Butler were waived injured. Same situation, almost similar line of scrimmage, but the plays might here might be pretty identical. I don't, eh, I'm not sure if they're 100% or not, but point is, Cruikshank running the go route, running the nine route here, and this ball, as you'll see, is overthrown. And while that's technically true, this is overthrown because of the wide receiver slowing down, not because the quarterback simply overthrew him. It was a great ball by Mason Rudolph. So we're going to watch Cruikshank to the bottom line of scrimmage is around 25-yard line. And watch how early he looks back. He's looking back just over 10 yards downfield. And he's not digging and running through. And he's looking back for the football. And that slows him down. It's going to slow his speed. He's looking back the entire time. Not looking towards the sky. He's definitely looking over his shoulder. And that slows him down. Now, he's not as fast from a 40-time perspective as Austin. He actually ran 4-6-something, I think, on tape. He's probably a faster guy. But he would have been able to catch this and probably score had he used better technique. Looking back far too early, not looking towards the sky, and that just slows him down. And if he runs through this, if he digs the way that Austin digged on that play against Tampa Bay, he scores. And this is a touchdown. This is a you know, finale, chance to capture a practice squad spot, get noticed here late in this game against Atlanta, just got signed by the team. And because he slows down and he looks back for the football, I should say because he looks back for the football, he slows himself down and... This ball lands just about a yard or two out in front. So that's a technique from wide receivers coach Frisman Jackson. You want to dig 20 to 22 yards, look back, not why well, I should say look towards the sky. Don't look back over your shoulder, run through it, maintain speed. That is the primary directive from Frisman Jackson. So just a good way to illustrate the coaching points there, what happens when it looks good versus when it's not run correctly. And you see the result, one, a touchdown, the other, a forgettable, incomplete pass. So wanted to just pass along that coaching point. It's always good to apply Steelers coaching to the tape. That's when we can really be able to determine what went right and what went wrong. So 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Appreciate you guys watching. Again, if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate that. Also, before I forget, I will put a link in the description to the coaching clinic breakdown I did of Frisman Jackson. That'll be in the description that kind of goes through some of these things that I learned from him whenever he got hired about I think, two years ago. So you guys can check that out. Thank you again for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.